Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So in last week's video, I mentioned a new piece of outdoor equipment. Um, just needed to get the semi lined up to get it here and it has arrived. Um, so let's go check it out. And here it is. This is a Bantam C35 dragline crane uh, from around the 1950s. And there is the real one. So as many of you know, I have a passion for cranes and always loved cranes. And this particular crane, um, I had the opportunity to buy it about eight years ago and I just didn't have the cash and the time to deal with it. Um, so I, I missed out on it and I kicked myself ever since, regretted every minute of not buying it. Um, and then a few years ago, I found out a friend of mine had bought it um, and he is, we talked a little bit about me buying it from him, but he wasn't really ready to sell. Well, he's uh, taken a turn for the worst. He's uh, terminally ill with cancer um, and uh, just not, not in good shape. He's, so he, he decided that if anybody was gonna own it and take care of it, that I would be a good choice. So he and I worked out a deal and uh, I've been sending him little videos as I work on it here and there and, and uh, brightening his day. He's been very pleased as we made progression with this thing and get it running again. Now, I could have done a will it run video, but quite honestly, equipment from this era, carburetor, points, that stuff, it's guaranteed to run unless the motor is a rusted lump. Um, it doesn't have a computer, so I can get it running no matter what. Um, and we did, we got it running with very little effort, my friend Pete and I. So let's check it out and see what we all have here. So I'll start down here at the dragline bucket itself. And yes, I have been digging. Um, this is a three ace yard bucket and it is all there um, and it digs beautifully. We have 30 feet of boom. It's got the boom extension, the five foot extension in it. So 25 feet was factory. It is a crawler crane. Um, these either came as truck mounted or crawler later, later years. And this is a crawler and it does need work. Um, we have one bad drive sprocket. My chains, track cha drive chains here, these are 140 heavy. Uh, these are bad, stretched out, just junk. We're gonna be replacing those, I got them on order. And all of our track pins are badly worn. Um, you know, no surprise for the age. I mean, you get right in here, you can see how bad they are. Um, we're gonna replace all those, make new ones. Uh, I'm actually gonna have my apprentice Connor do the work on that. That'll be a good project for him is replacing, making all new pins. And one of the first things we had to do was put a new radiator in it. And this is a aluminum radiator out of a uh, skid steer. So it's a larger radiator. And of course I rebuilt the carburetor um, we do have a bad manifold, you got a hole in it here, and uh, I have another one lined up. So we will be getting that fairly soon here, I hope. And uh, points, condenser, just minimal stuff we did to it. Um, it's got some damage to the back end here, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do to fix that yet, or if I'm going to change the whole design of the back end. But all in all, it's a very sound machine. Uh, like I said, we've been digging a bit with it, and, and uh, it runs beautifully. Um, it's all friction drive. So, pretty cool little machine. And a neat thing about the Bantams from this era is the cab. Up there are the windows, and they run in that track like modern machines do. Now, from the 40s and 50s, they were building these things with that feature. Something that... Uh, we didn't know existed back then. And here is the Bantam tag. So serial number 5115. And I saw one in 1962 model that was in the 10,000 series. Um, so they made a lot of these cranes. They were everywhere. They a very good machine. And of course the original seat is still there. I have a new seat on order. So we'll be putting a new seat in it. It, it does need some TLC. It's gonna get a cleaning here very soon, but uh, she is a solid machine and does dig very nicely. And the engine itself is a Continental F2 186, 186. 
um, which was the same block as far as I understand from 186 all the way up to the 227. And uh, just measuring the manifold on the 227 that's been given to me, um, it's going to fit. No problems. It's got a twin disc clutch on the back end of the motor over there that runs all the winches and everything. Um, and then Bantam was really cool and they had a two speed transmission, basically the chain, the chain over here. The, the bigger, the fast one is missing, it was taken off. And I understand why, because high speed is what really tears these up. So, but all in all, very, everything's here and you know, it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up. And obviously I need to redo my switch here. I have a new switch for it. Give her a little choke. I just put this choke cable in. And this little door here, this is a door. You open and close that for your cab heat. So that blows out all the heat out of the radiator. And it is straight pipe, so it's loud. Which we will be changing that very quickly. Well, let's swing her over and I'll take a scoop with it. You can see her work. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not a good operator. I've never operated a drag line in my life, so I'm still learning it and getting a feel for everything. And there's a lot of rust on the clutches, so she's a little touchy. Uh, clutches and the brakes, but I think I did pretty good. I got a nice hole there. So I'm ready for the OSHA inspector. So I've ran cranes for the last 15 years of many different sizes and varieties, hydraulic telescopic, lattice boom, um, railroad wrecker. And quite honestly, this is the smallest crane I have ever run. Um, this is rated at, I think, like nine ton. Uh, I've never run anything this small, and quite honestly, this fast. These uh, drag lines are very quick, response-wise, swing everything, just fast. So really a cool machine and a lot of fun to run, um, and I'm looking forward to learning more about it, getting it fixed up, and uh, the ultimate goal is to put in an underground bunker. So stay tuned to the channel because there's cool stuff coming.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the little quick tour and the, the demonstration. Um, we're going to go ahead and start cleaning this thing up tonight and just get the cab cleaned out, pressure wash everything, try to make it look nicer and get a better idea of what we're working on. Um, we know what we got to do, you know, tr track chains, track pins, um, sprockets, and then start working into the gear cases and start working through that. So there'll be a lot of good machining content coming out of this here project. Um, I don't know that I'm going to paint it. I kind of like the way it looks. It's hideous. It kind of goes with everything else I own, old and hideous. Um, I just like unique and odd things. So with that, we'll end here. Until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.